I've purchased and ordered frozen thawed mice and rats from a ton of different sites, including Perfect Prey, Feeder Source, Big Cheese Rodent, Underground Reptiles, and a couple places in person like Petco and PetSmart that sell the individually packed Arctic Mice and Gourmet Rodent. The reason I've ordered them from so many different places is because for one, their stock tends to vary, and two, I wanted to be able to compare them all for this video, which I'm finally making, and talk about the huge variety of experiences I've had, good and bad, both on the customer support side and the product side. If you don't wanna watch the full video, here is my preferred list. Number one is Perfect Prey. Number two is Big Cheese Rodent. Number three is Underground Reptiles. Number four is the Petco brand. Number five is the PetSmart brand. And number six is Feeder Source. Let's start with my least favorite, number six, Feeder Source. And then we'll go to my favorite and talk about why. So Feeder Source is the one I've purchased from the longest. I discovered them through Repticon, which is a reptile show in the United States. And they are the sole seller of frozen mice and rats at the shows. Now, basically, when you apply to actually sell at Repticon, uh, there's a very clear, very specific area that says that you are not allowed to sell frozen thawed mice or rats. They probably just have a partnership where they don't let anyone else sell. And that certainly works in their favor because they get a ton of business and everyone has to buy their frozen rodents there if they're buying a snake from the show, unless they order it in advance online. Of course, you could go home and order them and have them there next week, but most people just like the convenience of buying them in person. And I would do this, I would always get them, and they were all that I knew, uh, and since I bought from them at the expo and I was like, okay, this is fine, uh, I figured I would buy from them online. And so for a couple years, I would order from them as well. There were things about the rats and mice that were weird, but I thought it was just normal for feeder rodents. But it turns out it's not. And at one point I decided to try a different site, which I'll get to. And then from there I was like, wow, this is a very different experience. And I kept just trying different sites. And then I ended up going back to Feeder Source. The reason for this is because over a year ago when we were selling at a Repticon, we don't sell at Repticons anymore, but when we did, uh, we needed some, so since we were selling there, I went there in the morning, placed an order, asked them to hold it until the end of the show, which was the end of Sunday, and then they were like, yeah, you can come pick them up at the end of the show. Unfortunately, we ended up not being able to because we got so sidetracked packing up our own stuff and trying to haul stuff in the van and everything that by the time we had left, we had completely forgotten to pick up our rodents. That was entirely on us, and it's not their fault that we forgot to pick them up. But the issue was, turns out they don't have customer support. We emailed them, we looked for a phone number, there was no phone number, and I contacted every single one of their social medias. That they, they didn't respond to any. So I emailed them again a week later. And then I checked their Better Business Bureau page and I was like, uh-oh, according to BBB.org, a lot of people don't get their orders. Um, so what I started doing was every couple months I would tweet the amount of time it's been since feeder source had taken my $200 for the rodents and not responded. The time increased and increased and increased. I kept tweeting it and finally I got an email. And basically I harassed them enough over Twitter that they finally <laughs> emailed me and was like, sorry about that. And so basically what they did is they gave me a $300 credit. So they gave me a bonus free $100 uh, just for the sake of service, and also probably because they see that I have a little bit of influence over people and what products they choose. So I was glad that they responded, even if it took a while. And then I ordered, and oh my. I just got spoiled by all of the other sites that I had ordered from, but I didn't realize how low quality feeder source was. So first off, just looking at their prices, the $300 credit they gave me didn't even purchase a fraction of what I can buy on other sites because they are just so expensive in comparison. We get huge bulk amounts. We order between two to four to five hundred dollars in rodents at a time and they last us a couple months. They did not last long for two reasons. One, because they were so expensive and two, because of the quality. They arrived in a nice package. It was packaged fine. There was tons of dry ice. The dry ice kept everything frozen, meaning that nothing had thawed along the way. Also, they shipped this in the winter. This was just a couple weeks ago. Everything was frozen. It wouldn't have thawed out. My reason in mentioning that is because rodents start to smell when they've been thawed out for a while. Uh, especially if you refreeze them afterwards and thaw them again, they're gonna smell bad because that bacteria has started to develop and grow. We smelled something weird in our freezer. I, it just, the whole kitchen started smelling like rot. And it turns out it was the feeder source mice. They had never been taken out. We just put them in the freezer. The freezer was working. We had mice left over from other sites, 
None of this smelled. It was just the feeder source mice. Also, we noticed when we unboxed them, each mouse was in just an, a bizarre position. Um, they looked like they were like individually tortured before they were put into the bag. I, I highly doubt that's the case. I'm not accusing them of that. It just looks like a mouse that didn't have a fun time dying. There's many different ways to kill frozen rodents and according to the sites that I've reached out to, they all use uh, carbon dioxide, which is not the least painful, but it's a little more humane than throwing them straight into a freezer and killing them. The package, it, they just look so weird. And we ended up having to throw away almost all $300 worth of rodents because they just smelled bad. Now, maybe I just got a bad batch or something, but they had actually always smelled like this. There were there was always stench. I had to get a different freezer in the past when I was first getting into animals because the rodents from feeder source just smelled not, not great. And I thought that was normal because, hey, it's rodents, whatever. But then I had other experiences with other sites. So let's move on to my fifth and fourth preferred choices, which I'll go over quickly, Petco and PetSmart. Um, these are extremely expensive, way more expensive than feeder source. They come in packs of like two to five, and it's completely not worth the money if you need a lot. If you just have one snake and you buy a pack of five, that'll last you maybe a month or a little bit longer, maybe it's fine. And honestly, the quality isn't good. It's not amazing. They have a bit of a smell to it. And I've stuck all these straight all the way up my nose and I know what they smell like. And the ones that Peck and Petsmart buy are from Gourmet Rodent and Arctic Mice. And they're okay. It's just not great. If I need one in a pinch, I'll go grab one. Um, it's To me, it's just not worth the money. And they do have a very slight smell to them. My third preferred option is Underground Reptiles. They did a very good job packaging it. It came very quickly and everything looked good. It was all everything that we ordered, and the value was pretty decent. Underground Reptiles has a lot of controversy around them. There's a lot of accusations with bad reviews, people getting orders that they're unhappy with for various reasons. I'm staying broad because I don't actually have any on hand, but you can kind of just Google different things about different sites like Underground Reptiles, and people have different experiences. Honestly, the quality was perfectly fine. There was no scent to any of them. Everything looked good, it was packaged well, uh, the only reason that they're my third instead of higher up is because I don't like everything that they sell or everything that they do. For example, they sell a lot of wild caught and imported animals, which it'll list each animal when they sell it, say, say where it com comes from. And they also sell animals in bulk as wholesale products. Um, a lot of companies do this. It's personally not something I'm okay with. And for that reason, I, I didn't put them at the very top because if I want to give a company money, I try to give it to a company with qualities and things that they do that I support more. So my second favorite site to order from is Big Cheese Rodent. Uh, Big Cheese was really good service. I really like their site. It's not super ugly or horrific like some of the sites and their products are very reasonably priced. The bulk options are nice, the shipping's not too much and they did a really good job packaging everything. I don't have images of every single package or product uh, so you kind of just have to take my word with some of it but I didn't have any issues and I would happily order from them again. The reason that I don't tend to order from them is whenever I'm looking at their site, they tend to be out of stock of what I need. Uh, we need a lot of large things. Most often I'll get a bunch of large uh, adult mice and then medium, large, and jumbo rats uh, because we have a lot of larger snakes. And in the past when I've needed to order, they're very frequently out of larger rat sizes, which is a necessity. So for that reason, I tend to go to other sites but if they have what I need, I'm very happy to order from them. My number one favorite choice is perfectprey.com. It should be obvious, um, but I'm, I'm not sponsored by them. They have not reached out to me. They don't know I exist as far as I know. And I started ordering from them just because some other YouTube channels recommended them. But they are by far my favorite site to order from. It, they do have stock issues as well sometimes where they just don't have what I need. And that was why I ended up buying from uh, Underground Reptiles that one time was because both Perfect Prey and Big Cheese Rodent did not have what I needed, so I went to Underground Reptile instead. Most often, Perfect Prey has the most of what I need, and they have really good prices. I'm very happy with it, and I think it's all fair. They have really nice packaging. They package them in these like styrofoam containers, and it looks like this nicely prepared meal. Some other sites do this as well, but Perfect Prey just has the most consistency with really quality shipping. They use lots of dry ice, they use insulation, and it doesn't look too cheap to package and send to me, but the shipping is not too expensive either. I think it's about 30 or $35 usually for us, which might sound like a lot, but when you're buying hundreds of dollars in rodents, that's a big savings. They have super quick shipping, 
and I can't even rate their customer support because I've never had an issue and I haven't had to reach out to them, but they are always my go-to because of the consistency and the quality that they have. And I have smelled every single one of these mice and rats, they smell like nothing. There is zero scent, so feeder source does not have an excuse to have such nasty smelling rodents when perfect prey and big cheese and even underground have rodents that smell like nothing. You could put them in my face and I don't know the difference. They only start smelling if they've been sitting out thawed for a long time. Other than that, I'm always happy to go with them. If for some reason you don't want to buy from Perfect Prey, maybe you think their site's ugly, or maybe you, I don't know, maybe you just don't want to buy from them. Uh, I think that there is no issue buying from Big Cheese Rodent, and the only reason that I don't tend to recommend Underground is because I don't like all of the services that they provide. But the rodents themselves were just fine at Underground, and I can't complain about those either. My only true complaints about companies are the ones that Petco and PetSmart carries because they're just so expensive, and they don't smell perfect. They might smell a little off. Their consistency, however, is very good. Like, size-wise, it's always the right size. But feeder source, they smelled. They don't have any customer support, as far as I can tell. Uh, which they did mention that it sounds like they changed ownership or changed management or something, um, which was their excuse for why it had been a while. But unfortunately, the quality has not gone up or down. If anything, it's gone down since that has changed. So if you want the best packaging and no scent and a pretty good price, I would recommend either Feeder Sort, <laughs> Feeder Sort, I'd recommend either Perfect Prey, Big Cheese, or maybe Underground if you want to go with them. And then the P.E.K.K.A. and Pet Smart ones, I mean, you can buy from them, it's not going to be the end of the world, it's safe for your animal, but the feeder source, they just, they don't smell good. I, it was a waste of money and I threw them all out, so. Uh, I wish that it was just a one-time occurrence with them and that I could say that all the sites are good, but uh, no, this has been happening for a while and they do not have my future business, but the others do, so. Are there any other sites I should test out? Let me know. I haven't done a product comparison in a while, so not too much interesting stuff happening. I didn't have many jokes or memes to throw in, but I just wanted to give you a video talking about my favorite and least favorite sites because this is a common question. And the hard thing is if, say, Perfect Prey did want to work with me, I don't... I want to say yes because I like making money, but also I feel like it makes my review a little less genuine if I do work with a company. So maybe at some point I'll work with other rodent companies, maybe even someday we'll sell frozen rodents. But uh, until then, this was my, I guess, unfiltered, unbiased opinion on my favorite company. So yeah, I'm happy to buy from more sites if you want me to test them out. Maybe I have to throw away a bunch of poor rodents that were just very poorly raised, but that'll be it. Uh, you can check out the channel for other videos and uh, I also have other older comparisons and care videos and stuff like that. You can check out goherpy.com for everything I do and you can become a member for five bucks a month to support the videos and stuff like this. But until then, I'm Alex and thanks for watching.